In this presentation, we are going to look at descriptive st statistics with SAS. We are going to look at the PROC means uh, procedure. So the data set we're going to use is called Virginica, and it's available at my website, keobryandublin.wordpress.com. And if you just look under the SAS section there, you'll be able to find Virginica. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we have four variables here. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and what we're going to, four numeric variables. And just as a remark, the, this is a subset of the IRIS data set, which is a very famous data set in teaching statistics. So, what we're going to do is compute the default descriptive statistics for all variables. Essentially, whatever the default statistics for PROC means is. So, let's go to our editor, and first off, uh, this is an inbuilt data set, so I actually have a script here where you can you can just pl uh, put this in just to actually try it out. So the that's all the data there. Okay, so let's uh, run that. Submit that. Just press submit up here. Press that run running man button. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually run find get some. Uh, descriptive statistics. So we're going to write proc means and we're going to name the data set and that is data equals virginica. Okay. Now I'm just going to use the default settings this time. So I'm just going to write run this time. So it's a very simple proc means just name the data set and then we'll try take it from there. So just make sure that works. So over here on the left hand side I just have the output here proc means so let's bring that up. Let's go to our output. So there we have it there, the four variables with the label. We have the number of in of the cases for each variable. We have the mean, standard deviation, minimum, uh, maximum. That's it. That's all we're looking for in this exercise. Okay, so this is the four variables. Mean, standard deviation, standard, uh, so on. Uh, minimum, maximum. Okay. So 4.588, that is the mean value for sepal length. Okay. What's the next exercise? Compute the median, first quartile, third quartile, skewness and kurtosis. So this is a bit trickier now. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our editor. Okay. And so we are asked for... Uh, extra we're gonna first off like we're going to do it for all variables but we have to uh, change what type of statistics we are required to find so we're, we're not f asked to find the mean or the median or anything like that or we are f sorry the mean or standard deviation we are asked to find the median okay we're asked to find Q1 Q3 kurtosis and skew okay so KURT is how you might find kurtosis, and skew S, uh, SKEW. So is th these are the additional arguments we make to the command to uh, specify we want all of those things. Q1 is the first quartile, Q3 is the third quartile, kurtosis and skew respectively. So let's run that, submit that. Okay, there we have it there, median. 6.55 for sepal length. Okay, so everything's looking good. The lower and upper quartile, I just called them there the first and third quartile, but they're also called the lower and upper quartile. Um, so 6.2 and 6.9 for the first uh, variable there, sepal length. Then we have kurtosis and skewness here at the back. So kurtosis and skewness, okay. So, those are the uh, other types of variable that are that you will also get in proc means, or the other types of statistics. Now, what we're going to do here is compute task tree, compute the mean first quartile, or lower quartile, third quartile, or upper quartile, kurtosis and skewness for just two variables in the data set, petal len and petal wid. So, let's how do we do that? Well, let's go to our edit here, editor here. Now, we know how to get them for the entire data set, 
where we're not looking for the entire data set. We are just looking for two, um, the descript the, the, the these descriptive statistics for just two variables. So what we're going to do here is going to add in a line, and we're going to type in VAR for variable, and just specify the variables that we want to study, and it's petal length and petal width. Okay, just like that. So let's run that. There we are. So we just have it for the two variables there, petal length and so on, and petal uh, width. And we had the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, kurtosis, and there at the end, skewness. So that ends the presentation. We've done all the jobs we needed to do. We've introduced proc means and just had a quick tour of what it can do.